Hello, I'm Ryan. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today we're doing a little story time. As you can tell by the title, I got a new saddle, which I'll be showing you in the second half of this video. It's coming later today. So I'm going to do a little first impressions unboxing thing about my new saddle later on. But right now, I'm going to tell you the story of why I had to get a new saddle because mine was stolen. Little disclaimer because I feel like people are going to be mad at me for saying it was stolen. Basically, I was like scammed kind of. Um, I took it to get it fixed and the guy scammed me, basically. So um, I bought my saddle in November, my old saddle, and I absolutely loved it. It was so perfect. It took me months to find one that had everything I wanted, and this did. It was an M Toulouse, something weird, some like French weird name. And it was part of their artisan collection, so very few were made, which is why I can't get the same one again, which is so upsetting. And I was so happy with it, and I saved up to buy it, and I was so excited about it, and I loved it so much. And about a month into having it, my old lease horse got caught on a saddle rack. It was a really weird freak accident. He was fine, but he ripped the billet. So I took it to get it fixed at a local like saddle shop. I took it to get it fixed, like it was around January 1st and it was gonna be like a $30 repair, no big deal. We were just gonna leave it there. He was gonna call us when it was done. So I made sure to put the number that he gave me that was on his business card, that was on his website, that he told me he was going to call from in my phone because I never pick up my phone. So I told him, I was like, I'm going to put this in my phone so I will answer when you call. So I did. I swear, it's in my phone. Like, I literally have it. Okay? It's right here. This is his number. It's right here. Like, a month passed and we called because we thought it was kind of weird that it was taking so long. We called once. I texted him once. And we were like, hey, no big deal. Just checking to see what's going on with my saddle. Another month passed. This was like the end of February. And... We like called multiple times because we were like, this is weird, like, it's taken two months, that's a really long time. It was like the middle of March and we were like, this is taking way too long. So my dad, who's a pretty tall, threatening dude, went over there because I didn't want to go over there because I'm a pushover and I'm scared of confrontation. So he went over there and was like, hey, what's up with my daughter's saddle? And he sold it and he called like two or three times we found out later because we went and checked my voicemails. He called two or three times from a different number than the one that he gave me that he said he would call from. And it probably came up on my phone as like an unknown number because that's what my phone does when it's a number that's not in my phone. And he left, I think, three voicemails and none of them did he say that it was his policy that after 30 days he would sell it, which is what he said when we went to get it and nowhere did he say that he never told us that at any point and in none of the voicemails did he say that in none of the voicemails did he even say that he was going to sell my saddle at all we then went on and read his reviews which technically you should have probably done that beforehand but he like my trainer told me to go to him so i just assumed like all right and we read his reviews and there's quite a few saying that like he lies he's sleazy like don't trust him and my dad and everybody that I've kind of talked to at the barn kind of has a theory that it was a nice saddle it looked really nice and it was like pretty new so everybody that I've talked to me my dad everybody kind of thinks that he purposely only called from a different number which would make sense because you're gonna call me three times and not call me once from the number that I told you I was putting in my phone like that's a little suspicious. We think that he purposely called me from a different number so I wouldn't answer so that he could sell it. And he only called me three times before selling it, which that's not enough times to justify selling it. And also, you're going to call me from a different number than the one that you gave me that's on your business card, that's on your website, that I put in my phone, that you know I put in my phone. So we asked him nicely. We were like, hey, like, you never warned us that you were going to sell it. You called from a different number. Like, this is, like, morally wrong. Give us our money back or get the saddle back. And he was like, no, I'm not doing that. So, basically, my dad calls his attorney. And we're kind of waiting on that, seeing where that whole thing goes. Everyone at the barn that I've talked to has kind of been like, you should call your attorney. Like, you have a case there. And he could have, he had a chance to be like, 
hey, I also called from this number. When I told him I was putting his number in my phone, he could have been like, hey, put that one in there, and also I might call from this one. So there's a little story time of what happened to my saddle. I'm very upset about it. I cried for like three days. I loved that saddle. I saved up to buy it. Like I was, I loved it so much, and I'm so upset. But here we are, and it is what it is. All right, guys, I just got here. It's like an hour after I filmed the story time clip. Here's the box, very heavy. I struggled to get it up the stairs. I'm so nervous. And yeah, let's open it. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Here it is. I have the absolute worst look with saddles. My first saddle that I bought, my first dressage saddle, was lost in the mail, like a long time ago, like last summer. And then my other saddle was stolen. And the reason I'm telling you this is because this one came with like five massive scratches on it. And it was supposed to be like brand new. And I bought it from Stateline Tax, so it wasn't like somebody lied to me. Like it just came with a ton of scratches. Before I tell you how upset I am, I do want to say, so I'm giving you a little information. This is a Collegiate Integrity Monoflap Dressage Saddle. It has an adjustable gullet, which is like the main reason I wanted it. Well, okay, so this was one of the only saddles I could find that had everything I wanted and also the adjustable gullet. So I don't have my own horse right now, but I'm kind of looking and I want to have a saddle that I can keep even when I get a new horse. It has big knee blocks, which I love. My old saddle, that's the only thing it didn't have. It had like little knee blocks, which worked, but it didn't have big ones. And I do like the big ones because it just makes my leg be in a better position. It also has a deep seat, which I like. I sat in it. I put it on my like couch arm thing and sat in it. And it seems like it's going to fit me really well. The knee blocks are in like a perfect position for me. And it seems to sit me like upright, which I have a problem with slouching. So that's good. So overall, I do really like the saddle. I'm really impressed with the saddle itself. I like it so far. I mean, I haven't ridden in it, but I like it just looking at it and stuff. Getting back to the scratches though, I opened it and I found like five scratches on it, which I'm very upset about. I don't know if they sent it to me like that or if it got scratched while it was being shipped. I don't think I'm going to send it back though. I don't think that it's really worth all that because the scratches like are bad, but I feel like it's gonna get scratched eventually anyway and there's no reason for me to go like another month without a saddle so I'm just gonna deal with it I like it it fits me really well and that's what really matters so I'm just gonna breathe and deal with it I was very upset when I found the scratches but I was like you know what it's okay because they're not gonna like make the saddle fall apart they're just scratches and it's okay and I'm breathing and I'm fine okay I'm gonna do a review on this after I've written in it Probably in like a month I'll do a review on it and I'll let you guys know what I think. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all. i see you later. You should like and subscribe if you want to, but no pressure, but you should. Okay, love you all. Bye.